Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Curran. And I'm Leslie Draffin. Tonight, we know a well-known Twin Peaks defendant, Matthew Clendenin, is speaking out after a judge dismissed all charges against him. Last month, pro tem prosecutors filed a motion citing no probable cause for Clendenin's alleged role in the 2015 shootout. Channel 6 News reporter Imani Payne sat down with Clendenin earlier today. And Imani, how is he handling the news? Doug and Leslie, Clendenin says this whole ordeal has ripped his life apart. He's in the process of filing a civil lawsuit against several agencies for wrongful arrest, among other things. But first, he's just looking forward to starting the next chapter of his life. I believe that um, Abel Reyna saw this as an opportunity to make a name for himself. Strong words from Woodway resident Matthew Clendenin who says the last three years of his life have been, in his words, pure hell. It just, it kind of ruined my name at the time. I mean, it was, my name and face was all over the media. He was one of hundreds arrested during the 2015 Twin Peaks biker shootout that left nine dead and dozens more injured. Clendenin says he was having drinks with friends, waiting to join his parents for lunch at nearby Don Carlos restaurant when the shooting started. You know, shots going off everywhere, uh, just total chaos. Um, it, it was it was terrifying seeing the things that that occurred and, and walking past it afterwards. You know, it's those are things you'll never you'll never forget. After the incident, Clendenin was taken to jail where he spent two weeks. He always claimed his innocence, but the damage was done over the past three years as he fought the case. Clendenin lost his landscaping business, got divorced and had a hard time just finding work. It just totally ruined a lot of people's lives. Applying for those positions, typically the first thing they're gonna do is, is type your name into the computer and the first thing that popped up for me is a mugshot. You know, and, and it was, that was hard. It affected his children's lives too. Parents saying things to, to their kids, which then turned around would get back to, to my kids and, and it was hard. Clendenin grew frustrated, wondering if his name would ever be cleared. But that all changed Monday when a judge signed a motion to dismiss all charges against him. It was a burden lifted not just off of my shoulders, but uh, my entire family as well. Hopeful his situation can serve as an example for others fighting to clear their name as well. Don't just sit quietly in the background and, and hope that it goes away. Um, speak up and, and you know, uh, be heard. Moving forward, Clendenin plans to go back to school and get his teaching degree while also doing some landscaping on the side. He says with all of his new free time, he's looking forward to creating new memories with his family. Doug and Leslie. All right, Imani, thank you.